Coach Edwards here with lacrossegoalytips.com and lacrossegoalyuniversity.com. And I got another great question this week. This is from Brian in Utah. Brian says, Dear Coach Edwards, last year I could stop the ball pretty good, pretty well, <laughs> Brian, but my clears were bad. I could see who I was supposed to pass to, but sometimes I couldn't pass it far enough or the ball would go into the ground. What should I work on to fix that so I'm better this year? By the way, I really appreciate all your answers on your site. It really helps me a lot. Thanks, Brian in Utah. Well, Brian in Utah, once we get that grammar fixed and, and you write really well, um, as opposed to really good, um, I digress. Listen, this is a, a question I get fairly frequently, all right? And it usually comes down to two things. One, to, in order to pass the ball far, you need a certain level of strength, all right? So the tendency with young goalies is to focus on having a really deep pocket to stop rebounds. The trade-off is usually distance in your clear. So if you've got this massive bag in your stick, okay, a pocket that someone's given you or you've worked on and it's just huge and to stop you, to help your rebounds, it's going to it's going to keep you from passing the ball pretty far. All right. So, you want to tighten up that pocket a little bit, all right, and make it shallower so that you can get the 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 type of throw out that you that you want to have happen. So here's the thing, you know, people ask me like, what's a good throw to have? And well, it depends, right? If you're dealing with like a, a kid who's 10, um, you know, getting the ball up the field past like the the restraining line, that's you know, that's a good little pass, right? Um, but most goalies, you know, who get who've got pretty good stick skills, they can th uh, throw further than that. But there's also a couple types of passes, right? There's one that. Um, if we're looking at the field, sorry, the, the field is tilted here, but we're, we want to make passes that are like crisp, sharp passes, right, to our to our uh, our teammates. We also make want, want to make ones that are like loopy, that go over the you know the the offensive players, the attack and the middies to get it further out here. You know, if you, I like watching the NFL a lot, and when you can learn a lot from a quarterback, because quarterbacks. They, there's a science to quarterbacks, which we haven't really adopted that science for lacrosse goalie, but we really should. Those quarterbacks are used to like, you know, they've got great technique, good stance, feet are, are, are set and firm, you know, and they can make a really good pass, but they can make darts that are like super, you know, uh, crisp and short, and they can also make kind of mid-range passes that have just a little air into the ball, and then they can really air it out almost like a Hail Mary pass, right? So we want to be able to make those three passes too, that dart, that kind of frozen rope, and the one that's got a little bit of air under it, and the one that's got more air under it that can basically, you know, we got a midi break in on a clear, that, that I mean, you can get way up here, and that, uh, that, that nice loopy pass all right, can make it out to our, our teammate. But here's the key. It's a combination, as I mentioned, of pocket and strength. All right? um, I got a video from a goalie. did a goalie critique a little while ago from a goalie who was very strong. He was a football player and massive forearms. And you could see, like, he could... He, he could suck up every ball, which is great, no rebounds, uh, but when he went to pass the ball, he had to stop short with the stick because it was almost like he was shot putting the ball because the pocket was so so deep that he could throw, but he had to like stop the stick so that the ball would come out like, instead of getting caught in the lip of the stick and going into the ground. Now what I suspect is happening to you is either you have a shallow pocket and the shooting strings are too tight, so the ball gets stuck in the shooting in the pocket in the shooting strings and goes down. Or you just have too big of a pocket and not enough strength to really get that ball moving in the pocket as you release it so that it goes upfield. Here's a thing that I th wish every goalie would do more of: is you should have a stick for practice that has a shallow pocket. All right. The reason being is you want to work on soft hands so that you're not giving up rebounds instead of relying on the pocket to catch everything. All right, we're not catching fish here, right? We want to be able. We, we have to do two things with the stick. One, we have to catch the ball softly, right, and we have to be able to corral the rebound. And second, we've got to be able to make a nice pass up the field. So hopefully, you've got a stick for practice that's shallower, so you get used to that shallower pocket, so you don't have to rely on such a heavier po or a deeper pocket to give up those rebounds. The thing that'll happen there by having that shallower pocket is you are naturally going to make longer passes because that ball is going to come out with a higher trajectory with less work, right? Because a deeper pocket, you got to get those hands way back, right? To get that to get that stick even moving. And if you're young and you and and your strength isn't there yet, 
that's going to hurt you. Really affects female goalies as well. All right, uh, girl goalies obviously have less strength than their male counterparts. Usually age for age. Okay, um, but and so again, that deeper pocket hurts the clear. The shallower pocket can help get that ball further up the field with less effort. All right. So Brian, this is a good question. All right, give that a shot. Give us some, um, you know, tr mess around with your pocket, try a little bit and, um, and see what works for you. All right. And because there's a balance, right? You take that pocket out, you get further distance, but you give, maybe give up some rebounds because your hands are stiff. So you get a little more pocket in there. Right? And then eventually you'll find a happy medium that works for you. Not every other goalie works for you because some goalies get by with shallower pockets, others with deeper pockets. But for you, it's what needs to happen, all right? And, and only you are going to find out what passes you need to make um, with those that, guys that are around you, all right? So I'm Coach Edwards with LacrosseGoalieTips.com. Thanks for the question, Brian. And I look forward to your question. And I'll be answering on a further, uh, further weeks down the road with lac at LacrosseGoalieTips.com. Do me a favor. Leave me a comment below. Feel, feel free to share this with all your buddies. I really appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing you again on LacrosseGoalieTips.com. Thanks.